Welcome to a new video in my home automation series and uh, in my recent video when I reviewed the Sonoff motion sensor I said that I've received three different devices and this is the second device so this is the Sonoff Basic Release 4 which is the you know, US version of the Sonoff Basic and um, I would say that well just by looking at the device it looks like we have gone back in time because we have returned to the original design of the Sonoff Basic and um, a lot of the things remain the same, you know, the physical layout, how it works, and then, you know, what is it designed for, but it also has some additional features, and I would just highlight two of them. One is that uh, it has a magic switch function that I'm going to talk about a little bit later, and that's going to be like a, a I think it's like a software and the hardware hack, so it can be used as a you know single wire switch so in cases where you don't have a neutral line i think this can be used with this simple hack but uh, i haven't had time to test this out so i would definitely come back to this uh, in a later video but i'm still going to talk about uh, it based on you know how i understood it and the other thing is that it can connect to sub devices so for example i have a son of uh, R4 so these are these battery operated switches and then you we had so many of these devices like the NS Panel Pro the new M1 switches which can talk to these battery operated switches but now this uh, basic son of basic release 4 does the same as well so these are the new features and as I said most of the other things are the same so you still have an input side you have an output side so you connect your fixed mains here and then you connect the device that you want to control on the other side and if I bring in my other Sonoff I think this is probably a Sonoff release one and then you lift this cover then you can see that there are two terminals on either side and um, just like in the previous son of basic you can see these ridges here so this acts as a strain relief so when you connect your wires your wires should be really short and like in my case when i have double insulation these insulation should actually terminate in here so when you screw in this uh, plastic top it actually grips on those cables and not like this one because this is not a safe installation for the son of basic and since I brought in this uh, order son of basic, I wanted to show you that I have the whole lineup. So this was release one and the release two as well. They look the same. And this was the release three. It's the same function, but in a different uh, design and a different packaging. And for me, this was a very complicated package with a lot of different components. And even the internals felt a little bit more complicated, which uh, I thought it defeats the purpose of a really cheap Wi-Fi switch, what uh, Son of Basic always was. But it looks like now we are coming back to this old form factor now, maybe uh, for a reason. As I said, there is not an awful lot that I can say because uh, I think we have also seen Son of Basics by now. So I just want to uh, quickly jump into the Evening application to see how it is different from the any other Son of Basics. And um, you know, setting this uh, device up is just like any other uh, you know Wi-Fi device. You can well. As soon as you power in, it goes into pairing mode, uh, which is going to be indicated by a blinking blue LED, which is here. But if it doesn't do that automatically, you can just press this button for a long time. And then you click on the plus button and add device, and then you just follow the on-screen instructions. So, you know, fairly simple, nothing really special about that. Just like with any other single channel device, we get a button on, on, the, on the main screen. And if I go into the the detail screen then i have this big button here and the other functions that we see on the bottom of the screen are exactly the same so i can set up schedules where if i want this device to turn on or off at a specific time and i can create many of these different schedules i can create a timer so if i turn it on i can create a timer to, to a turn off automatically let's say in half an hour and we also have this uh, inf um, infamous loop timer where you can set up i mean i think uh, this would be the most useful functionality where you would set up an alternate, um, alternating on off cycle if you want to power device which you know needs to operate uh, in a loop for some reason 
So that's a fairly standard affair. The difference is going to be in the settings. Now it's not going to be much, but there is going to be some difference. Well, first of all, there is a user manual section, so you can call up the user manual from this menu. You just have to wait for a little bit to, to, for this information to download. And there are different sections for introduction and device and installation. And you can also specify if you want this device to appear in different icon. So again, it's just easier to differentiate these devices. And this functionality has been made available for most of the Sonoff devices already. And that's the icon. So you can see the, um, the light icon which or the bulb icon which appears here. So that's what it influences. We can have, uh, we have the option to, you know, put it into a different room or we can share the device. I made a video on, you know, what what's new in sharing in a recent separate video. You can just group them together. So again, if you have multiple the, of these sort of basics in the same room controlling lights, maybe you just want to group them so they all turn on and turn off at the same time. So the next one is this uh, remote sub devices. So that's the function what I mentioned previously that I have for example, this R5 uh, battery powered remote. So I can click on this plus button here on the top and then I can add uh, devices. So now I have this R5. So the, the signals, so whenever I press any of the buttons and the signals from those buttons go to the basic R4 and then that's how it appears here. And then you can build automations based on that. There are a few devices which uh, use this functionality. So this is definitely new. It wasn't available in the R3 version. You can get push notification if the device gets switched. You can offline alerts. You have the logs here when this uh, got changed either by a scene or as you can see by a local button, which is this one, or by me when pushing on the application. So the next one is actually this magic switch mode. And if you link, uh, read the documentation, so I'm really interested in testing this, but uh, again, I just need to have the setup and the time for that. So what it does, I think what it does, so based on this one, and then some of the other documentation that I have seen is that when you have a normal rocker switch, like, you know, a normal light switch, the way it is physically designed is that when you switch it on and off, then, um, well, usually it has like two outputs, well, well, sorry, three terminals. So there is like a common terminal and normally open and normally close. So when you switch the, um, or the flick the switch, then it connects to sort of like the middle and then one of the, you know, side terminals. And it's designed in a way that it only connects to one of the terminals. So when you flick it open, or sorry, from one position to another, there is a momentary position, like um, temp well, temporary position, when it's not connected to either of those. And then what this son of is going to do is, I think it's going to detect that momentary loss of power. Probably the internal circuitry is designed that it can survive that, I don't know, 10, 20, 100 milliseconds of uh, power loss and it will detect that as a switch. So that's going to be really um, important if you want to connect this or if you want to use this in a room or in a house where you know it has really old wiring where usually you don't get the neutral wire into the switch. So you won't be able to replace the switch to like a smart switch or the light switch, the smart light switch, because they usually need a neutral wire. But okay, we do have the single live wire options as well, where you have to install a capacitor over the lamp, which, all, which also work. But this is a different approach how you can, you know, come around this problem. So I think that's going to be really interesting to test. And um, yeah, I definitely going to do that. But then the rest of it is the same. So we have a power on state which um, you can set what power to come on when it is powered on. And uh, there is the delay function. So again, this is uh, being added to the new devices. It's available here as well. So if you want this device to come on, but with a little bit of delay, you can uh, configure that as well. You have the inching, um, so the auto power off function, and you have the option to auto power on or auto power off. That's nothing new. and. Yeah, you have the Wi-Fi settings, you can change the Wi-Fi here, and that's it. So, um, 
most of it we have seen, I mean, obviously the remote devices is new because the older ones didn't support that. The magic switch mode is definitely new, but then the 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 power of and the inching settings were something that we have seen in the past or we have seen the uh, the enhanced version of them in some of the recent devices that I reviewed, like for example, the TH Elite or the TH POW. So that's it. And in terms of the scenes, well, it's a switch, so it doesn't do a lot, but you can, you know, set up a scene which triggers when the uh, the son of basic gets either turned on and off, either manually application or any other way. And also on the um, action side, you can, uh, oops, not this one, and you can also change the state of the of the relay. So either turn it on, turn it off, or also you can use reverse. Again, this reverse wasn't available a couple of years ago, but now it's available for all the devices. So you can operate this by, let's say, a very simple Zigbee button, because then you have the reverse. So whenever the button is pressed, it reverses. So it turns on if it was off and vice versa. So all in all, I'm happy that we have a new Sonoff uh, Basic. I think it was always the quintessential son of device, the very simple son of basic. And I'm also glad that it has received some of the new features. And some of these features are going to be very interesting. I will be testing those and I will be coming back, especially, well, definitely I will be coming back for this magic switch uh, functionality because I think it will be added to a newer son of devices as well. So I will be interested to learn how it works exactly. So if you want this device, I'm going to leave links in the video description, but that will be all for today. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you next video.